Motorsport auctions are the global marketplace to buy and sell used race and rally cars, parts and associated equipment. Visit their website for more details. Good morning everyone, welcome to Bosworth Race Roundup, the weekly show that brings you all our race highlights. We're here today for round 7 of the 2015 BMW Z4 Mazda MX-5 Championship. It's Charlotte Road Course, a night race tonight. Martin Glenicki is on pole with a 104.704 for Acorn Printing in the BMW Z4. Van Delden is next, he's up as well for Acorn Printing, so it's a 1-2 for them, a 105-136. And Simon Underhill is in third with a 105-288. Bentley Boys Racing also have a good week with Phil Gregory in fourth. He's ahead of Neil Bamber and then it's Tony Bird and Barry Bird for Tech Speed Racing. Ryan Walk is in eighth ahead of Ian Thorne and then it's Akib Akhtar. In the MX-5s, it's Alan McCain ahead of Matt Taleo, with Adam Thorne, our championship leader, in third. Darren Ford's up next, ahead of Scott Malcolm and Martin Brandon. Ricky Green in 17th, with Jan Malesova and Russell Barnes next. Francis Winnell, Marion Bradshaw and Ian Robson round out the field. We're going on board now with the fastest MX-5 of the session. That was Alan McCain, as he set his 1 minute 20.378. This is the view from Alan McCain's MX-5, we are about to start his qualifying lap, there is traffic up ahead, so onto the road part of Charlotte we go then, keep it tight through here, make sure you don't clip the wall on the right hand side, keep it tucked in on the left and we now make our way up to turn number 3 and turn number 4, these are both right handers, this takes us right into the centre of the Charlotte circuit, so through here and onto a small straight before we head into turns number 5 and 6. These again tighten up as we then prepare to start onto the second part of the oval circuit. It goes uphill and you've got to be careful here on the corner, cut that too much and you do pick up incident points. Right in the back of the 83 car of Yamal Elizabeth now for Motorsport Auctions. Coming into the left hander, this is turn number 7 and into turn number 8 and back onto the oval part of the circuit. McCain's been fortunate to come onto the oval part of the course behind a couple of cars so he can get a tow round here, pick up a bit of extra speed as he comes around the oval to complete his fastest lap of the qualifying session. So tucked in right behind Yan now, foot to the floor and onto the back straight of the oval, only two more corners to go. McCain is the front running driver for Bentley Boys Racing in the MX-5s. He currently sits joint 7th in the championship overall. His teammate Ian Robson, after round 6, is currently sat in 25th. McCain now past Jan Molesva. He's made the most of that toe as we're coming through the final corners. You can see just up ahead for the MX-5s and the finish line. That is Alan's qualifying lap then. We're going to leave it there for qualifying and head down to the race. Acorn Printing are the teamwear supply for Bosra and have even produced clothing items for President Clinton. See the video description to learn more. Engine revs rising as we're about to get underway here at Charlotte for round 7. Keep an eye on Tony Bird in the first of the tech speed racing cars. He's made a false start. Everybody else waits for the green light and gets away. The top three, Gornicky, Van Delden and Underhill are away cleanly. Ryan Walker's made a good start. He's about to come up the inside of the tech speed racing pair. Neil Bamber gets alongside Phil Gregory. Then the tech speed racing boys are separated by Ryan Walker from Motorsport Auctions. In the last of the Z4s, it's Akhtar and Thorne. Neil Bamber is ahead of Phil Gregory. He's then followed by one of the Bird brothers. Ryan Walker has a look. We're going to move on now to on board with Van Delden. This was Matt's view of the race leader Martin Glenicky coming through to complete the first lap. He takes enough speed through the road path of the course and onto the oval to make the pass into first place. Taking the rear view now, you can see Simon Underhill also coming up on the inside of Martin Glenicky. Through turn number four and onto the main straight, Martin ever so close to going into the wall. Simon makes the move up into second place. Martin deciding it is better to settle for third than fight Simon into turn number one on lap number two. This is the start of the MX-5 race, everyone got away well here. Keep an eye on the second of the tech speed racing cars though, Martin Brandon had a port start. Yamal Ezeva starting to make his way up the field. Going into turn number one, your race leader Al McCain is then followed by Talaya and Adam Thorne. Jan then makes more moves, he's coming past now Scott Malcolm, he'd already got past Ricky Green into turns number 3 and 4, you can see the Z4s just in the distance. We're going to keep our focus on Talaya and Adam Thorne as we come through the infield part of the course, Talaya renowned for his fast start, so Alan McCain leads up into the next few corners, Talaya in second and Adam Thorne is in third. Watch Adam now into this right hander though, he catches lots of the kerb and up onto two wheels, we're actually going to watch this from another angle so you can see exactly how vertical he did get. So 
and here we come into the turn. Fantastic car control for Madam, doing really well not to spin this into the rest of the traffic, but it's more great news for Melissa in the 83 car, he's up into third. Turn number one at Charlotte always catches people out onto the road part of the course. First to do it this week was Ian Robson, he got his car absolutely sideways, puts it into the wall there. Next up to do it was Ryan Walker in the Z4. Pretty much the same move, but this time Ryan trying to get the power down just a little bit too early. Power sliding into the wall. To the first major incident involving both classes, we're watching Francis Linnell. He's been chased by Gary Bradshaw into Turn 1. The Z4's coming to lap the MX-5s. Linnell gets tapped by Bradshaw into Turn 1. Gulwenicky and Bamba have nowhere to go. Phil Gregory for the Bentley boys makes it through the carnage. And then the Bowdoin Solutions car, that's Acta into the side of Linnell. His teammate Ian Thorne gets away and through the middle. Barry Bird in the background had spun on his own accord. Linnell did come off worse in all that. He had to reset the Acorn printing MX-5 back to the pit lane for repairs. Staying with the MX-5s, this is the battle for second and third. That is Matt Talia and Adam Thorne right on the back of him. Alan McCain's off in the distance in the MX-5 as Adam um, tries to figure out how he's going to make the pass into turn one through turn four and onto the main straight Adam takes the high line then the Z4s of Van Delden and Simon Underhill start to appear trying to come through the traffic bit of a collision between all three Adam Thorne gets away with it to mats away into the wall and Simon Underhill through following Van Delden on board with Ian Robson now, he's about to take a trip to the pit lane, but not in the normal fashion. He slides it for the second time round turn one, ends up planting it into the wall right in front of the safety car. Staying on board with the MX-5s, but moving this time to Martin Brandon. This was coming up to turn number one with Scott Malcolm just in front of him. Scott gets it all wrong through here and into the wall. Martin tries to avoid him, but can, and straight into the front end of Scott's car. That's a trip to the pits for both of them. Onto the Z4s, this is the battle for 3rd, 4th and 5th. Martin Gwenicke, Phil Gregory and Neil Bamber, they were coming up on Scott Malcolm after his off with Martin Brandon. Neil Bamber's off the track, Martin Brandon's into the distance and Phil Gregory keeps it in a straight line. He gets past Scott and onto the oval part of the circuit. We're now looking back at Simon Underhill, this is the onboard view from Van Delden's care. Slightly off track there, we're coming through to the oval part of the circuit now. Can Simon stay with him as we come through the gates? and up onto the camber, through the traffic past the Bowden Solutions MX-5. Simon just drafting into the distance a little bit, but he will be catching back up. We're going to swap to another camera view of this in a minute. Simon now closing in on the back of Van Delden's care, through more traffic, one of the Bentley Boys racing teammates of Simon. Through turn number three, Simon takes the high line, tries to come past Van Delden up high. So here we are, we have swapped to a different camera view. Simon's still up high, coming onto the main straight now. Van Delden's not going to make it easy for Simon to pass. We're coming across the start-finish line, and they are absolutely side-by-side. Side. Simon tries to go around the outside into turn one and gets a slight tap from Van Delden. Van Delden spins the car. He wants to get it back facing the right way. Has to wait for the traffic to come through. A nice little spin there from him to get it facing the right direction. One of the Bowden Solutions MX-5s coming through, and his teammate Martin Gawenicke. More multi-class incidents, this time involving Scott Malcolm, Francis Linnell and Ryan Walker. Ryan was trying to make his way through the traffic, catching up to one of the Bowden Solutions Z4s. Slight tap in the side of Francis Linnell's car, he then goes onto the side of Scott Malcolm. They both carry on, Francis Linnell ends up facing the wrong way. Going on board with one of our newer racers, this is on board with Tony Baird in the Tech Speed Racing Z4. He was closing in on the back of Adam Thorne into Turn 1. As we turn in though, a slight tap from Adam, spins the car 180 and he can watch the rest of the traffic come through in the Z4 class. Tony was running in third, but that little off-track excursion cost him three places. Tony down to sixth place. Underhill having a good race in the Z4s, he was coming through up towards the gate of the oval part of the circuit to rejoin there, but as he came into the corner he grabbed just a little bit too much of the grass, that spun the cat and put it into the wall and fence. Simon stuck there and having to reset to the pits. Adam Thorne and Alan McCain were having a fantastic battle in the MX-5s as Z4 traffic came through. This was on lap number 21, Alan McCain makes the move into turn number 1. The fight would continue for first place in class for the remainder of the race. This was Adam Thorne retaking the lead, albeit using slightly questionable tactics. He decided then rather go high, he decided to drop down onto the apron, make the pass. That meant that Alan couldn't defend it into turn number 1. The incident was discussed post-race by the admin team and without going into too much detail, it was decided that Adam should be awarded a two-point penalty. He would keep the class win though. To our overall race winner then, it was Van Delden who took another win in this event. That was a great result for Acorn Printing, taking first, Phil Gregory in second for Bentley Boys Racing and Martin Gwenicke rounding out the podium again for Acorn Printing in third. 
Bowden Solutions produce the very best load cell mods and pedal adapters to use with Thrustmaster wheels. You can order yours now at bowdensolutions.com. The race results from round 7, it was Van Dalden who took the win ahead of Phil Gregory and Martin Guernicke in 3rd, Neil Bamba finishes 4th ahead of Akib Akhtar and Barry Bird in 6th, Simon Underhill took the fastest lap of the race in 7th, he was ahead of Ryan Walker in 8th and Ian Thorne in 9th, Tony Bird finished the race in 10th ahead of Adam Thorne in the 1st of the MX-5s, Alan McCain took 2nd and Jan Molesova in 3rd. It was another 4th place finish in the MX-5s for Ricky Green, he was ahead of Darren Ford and Russell Barnes, Scott Malcolm 17th overall ahead of Martin Brandon and Gary Bradshaw, Ian Robson, Francis Winnell and Matt Talia round out the MX-5s. In the overall driver standings, Adam Thorne still leads from Matt Van Delden, there's 10 points the gap there, Simon Underhill is in 3rd, 28 points behind, Martin Goenke moves up 2 places into 4th overall, 51 points behind the leader, Scott Malcolm and Alan McCain are next. Akia Bakhtar stays in 7th, with Matt Talia dropping down 3 places, Neil Bamba moves up 1, and Russell Barnes and Dan Ford follow him. Phil Gregory also picks up 2 places ahead of Ricky Green, and Jan Molesva moves up 3 places this week. Barry Bird's up 1-15th to ahead of Ian Thorne and Ryan Walker, David Rowland drops 4 places, Gary Bradshaw picks up 1 place as Chris Butterall misses out this week and Martin Brandon moves up to 21st. Francis Winnell is in 22nd ahead of Brendan Tills with Ian Robson and Jonathan Beresford next, Tony Bird is ahead of non-starter Jason Cox. In the team standings, Bowden Solutions still lead from Acorn Printing, while MKB Racing sit in third, 74 points behind the leader. Bentley Boys are 77 points behind, with Motorsport Auctions moving up 1 to 5th, Tim Clock work in 6th, and Tech Speed Racing last in 7th. Round 8, I'll see our first trip to Sebring, don't forget to join us for that. Until next week, thank you ever so much for watching, we'll see you again soon. Bye bye. <laughs>